Last week, I showed you this video of protesters storming the Bear Stearns headquarters to demand homeowners get the same kind of help that Bear got. At the time, it seemed all logical. I mean, you know, you have all of these struggling homeowners watching as the government uses taxpayer money to rescue giant corporations. I mean, it's only a matter of time before somebody demanding, hey, why don't you bail me out as well? But it's America. It's nowhere near that cut and dry anymore. The real story is that the man behind this protest and others a lot like it is nothing more than a bank terrorist. He put, put away the liberal blogs. I know, you're all like, what did you just say? It's a term that he actually uses to describe himself. He's proud of it. His neighborhood group is called the Neighborhood Assistance Corporation of America, the NACA. And uh, while the name sounds kind of cute and cuddly, NACA's tactics really aren't. Their premise is basically to enact change through public embarrassment. Instead of using outdated, un-American tactics like trying to get new legislation passed or having a petition signed by a thousand of people or something like that, they use fear and intimidation, just like actual grown-up terrorists. For example, according to their founder, Bruce Marx, 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 where have I heard that? Oh, I remember where I've heard that name before in the first story. If a lender, I'm quoting, if a lender says, we're not going to work with you, we will be at the auction. We will be at the CEO's home. We will be there to say, we're shutting you down, end quote. But they don't just visit homes or offices. In at least one case, they've also taken their protest to the schools where the CEO's children go to, quote, educate the children on what their parents do. Well, gosh, thank you. They've even resorted to distributing flyers to neighbors of another CEO detailing an alleged affair that he was having. It's vigilante justice, plain and simple. After all, I mean, who needs a courtroom when you got the court of public opinion? Let's just throw their pictures on TV. It's the new American way. The ironic part is that after the CEOs and the banks cave to the extortion, which they almost always do, the outcome is sometimes positive. Low-income borrowers, borrowers get to stay in their homes, they get a better mortgage, and yes, some predatory lenders are even taught a lesson. But like the environmental terrorists who throw blood on fur coats or burn down Humvee dealerships, or the other kind of terrorists that fly planes into buildings, the ends never justify the means, especially when those means are taken right out of a terrorist handbook. Bruce Marx is the, let's stress this, non-violent bank terrorist who is the founder of NACA. Um, a bank terrorist. You're co totally cool with being called that. You're proud. Glenn, it is great to be on your show. Whatever you want to call me, you know, it's bank terrorism, whether it is uh, I didn't call you that, you sir. Know, you call yourself Or extortionist or whatever it is, Glenn. But the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, we're there to advocate for the homeowners who are at risk of losing their homes. The many thousands of people who are listening to your show, yeah. your TV and your radio show, you've been, who, who, who need, they're hardworking people, Please, Glenn, you've been doing this since the 1990s. The this is not something Absolutely. new. You've been doing this since the 1990s. Absolutely. Here's the thing. You're targeting children. You're targeting children. Let me ask you where the line is. If a yeah. woman goes to have an abortion, um, and she goes and has an abortion, should should some right to lifer go and and show pictures? Hey, this is the baby your mommy killed. Should they be able to do that? But Glenn, Glenn, hold. Let me respond. When someone loses their home, they have to deal with that answer twenty-four the hours question. a day. Hold, Glenn, Glenn, please answer, let me answer the, the question. question. The point is, is that it's personal, Glenn. Just like the way and that so you answer the question. The Where's the line? It is should personal. you be able the to say? The limit is, Glenn. The mm -hmm. limit is, it's non-violent. The okay, so is you, the answer that the then fact is of the matter yes. is you've got to be out there. You've got to say when someone loses their home out there, I they believe... have to live with that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me, let me tell you something. people who make the Bruce, decisions, Bruce, Glenn, I need it. to be held responsible. I got it. You want, you want to go for the, the, the bailouts for everybody. Is there no. no such thing? No, come on. Please. Glenn? You are looking for, here's what, you got Bostonian of the Year, the, the award Bostonian of the Year. They used in the example a, a woman who makes $15,000 a year. She said she watched the lender write down $44,000 a year as her salary. She went along with it. You bailed her out when she couldn't make it. Now, I think the bank is a scumbag. You and but, I will but, agree but, on that. But, but, but you but, know but, what? She but, has responsibility, too. Can, can, can I please respond? 
because the fact of the matter is we don't want one dollar of taxpayer money. Not one dollar, not for Bear Stearns, not for the builders, not one dollar of tax taxpayer money. What we're saying is that the investment bankers, the people and the lenders who created the crisis, they and profited from the crisis, they need to fix it. They need to restructure the loans to reduce the interest rates, reduce the mortgage payments to what homeowners can afford. We've got it millions, so, millions of homeowners yeah, yeah. out there losing their homes, Glenn. You have been doing the this the before is hard -working millions people out there. of people were losing. What you're doing is you are, you are bullying people into things that are not necessarily good for the banks. Look, here's when, here's when capitalism... Well, no, no, shut the, the pie hole. Is, if they're shut making money, the if they're hole. making money on foreclosures, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. Good, thank you very much. May I speak? Here's the thing, Bruce. When capitalism works, it is good for the corporation and good for the people. Not only that work for them, but use that corporation. And when that corporation starts screwing the people that work for them and screwing the little people, they should go out of business. We don't need what bullies. What about the consequences of their actions? The <laughs> you know what? The is I'm with you. Let but them, let them fall. Let them fold. Bruce, I'm going to run. Thank you very much. That's a real story tonight.